that's an interesting question and it's making me think who am I today and how I define myself. So as a um, human being, I'm a happy, contented person. And as a professional, of course, I have been, um, what I can say, currently I'm a professor and NCHS section head and a researcher, you may say, and a teacher and a professional. Um, that is all I can say. Yes, um, I would uh, refer to um, my professional life and uh, mostly. And when I did my first uh, post-graduation, I would say degree, in terms of doing a small diploma in child health, I felt very happy and successful. And I, I, I'm, by nature, I'm a very happy-go-lucky person, not after achieve certain achievements, typical achievements you go in your life. And then uh, when I joined AKU, and after some time, uh, there was first first time when Masters in Epidemiology and Biostats program started and I got admission. So uh, I, I have this, um, I'm not very attentive to exams or um, things like that. So I was not very sure that I will be able to pass the entrance tests and whatever, but I was successful. And that made me happy. And it was a hard work of two years and and also being afraid of maths and numbers, it was a challenge for me to complete that program. And when I completed it, it was a very happy moment for me. My father was there, my late father was there in my convocation. My husband was there and my two children. And they were, they were really tired of me reading books all the time and doing assignments. And then the most surprising moment came when I did my FCPS. So I appeared in that and then I learned, I had a call in my office from CPSP office saying that I have been nominated for gold medal. That was a big surprise for me in my education, in my life over, a whole life in my education career. I never had any this kind of achievement of getting gold medal. So I, I always say that that has spoiled my actually uh, what I can say, my career sort of thing. Um, anyway, that was the biggest happiness for me and my father was very proud of that gold medal. It was W.A. Berkey gold medal and it was given by the President of Pakistan, Musharraf. And then my achievement, if you ask me, was really, I realized the importance of uh, having people develop in conducting research and because that moves the knowledge forward. And uh, I started working on that and not only I started helping people who, are not, who were not in AKU at that time and wanted to do some work. So I had a um, few people um, trained from LNH also. They are now in Shifa Hospital in Islamabad. Very nice people now, very, uh, very um, successful people now. And I have trained many, many uh, faculty in the University of Health Sciences in Sobraj, in JPMC um, at that time. And I would use my Saturdays going there and giving my time helping FCPS students who were writing their synopsis or reviewing their uh, dissertation kind of thing. So that is, I think, is something which, which I contributed to, to developing people, young people, people who wanted to learn about research. That's what I would say. There have been many instances when I saw children dying helplessly. There were not medications. They came late to the hospital. And especially when I started working in ward who were looking after malnourished children. And you would do so many things to save the life of a children who, who was, uh, of a child who was in grade three malnutrition or severely ill even worse than that. And then the baby surviving and later when you came across to the grandparents or parents, uh, uh, they would say that child died while af after getting back home after a few days or so. So that was something very heartbreaking for me. And then I started taking interest in numbers. My mentor was Dr. Uh, Billu to begin with. 
and then there was Dr. Duresamin Akram and she still is my mentor and uh, she actually um, encouraged me to work in the communities, took me to a community, Nilam Kaloni, where I started to do some work with her, started to collect some data and numbers and she actually uh, had that interest developed in research. So after that, that, that interest in the communities never, never uh, went off. Then, then I joined CHS and I was appointed uh, Azam Basti, as the field director of Azam Basti. I was working with some senior people and very soon within a year's time I was field director there. And then from there I was, I was always being, I've been working with, with the uh, underserved population. We have a research site in Tata. We are working with a population of currently with 80,000, 70,000 people. And we work closely with them. Mainly it is a research structure. Uh, but people are really, they are in need of support. So that is why um, that makes me happy if there is a success story. That makes me sad also if there are events which we, you cannot make any change or any difference. Um, but that is very, uh, would say, rewarding to see, uh, to doing, to do something for the poor population. I must say that. Uh, who, who give you positive energy, uh, being happy with children, who make you laugh, enjoy, uh, take out your all tiredness and so maybe depression at times. Uh, that makes me very happy and uh, seeing young faculty growing or students uh, achieving their goals what they want makes me happy. Love. Uh, for all. Respect. Uh, for humanity. Uh, success. Family. Uh, lifeline. Dreamland, spaceship. So when I came CHS, whole new world opened to me, whole new world. Um, there were people who were very inspiring, there were different topics, there were, there were different aspects of public health. Uh, so, so I came by, I, I would say by fate, but, and then, then, but I, I remained here. And, and learn a lot and still learning a lot. So AKU has given me a lot. It has made me a better person, in person also, a better professional, a better human being. And it has done, um, I mean, what else do you want? You know, if you want a promotion, this institution will ask you to go and work hard, publish, um, improve yourself and, and everything is there. There's a library, there's a computer right in front of you. You can access, you can access anything in the world. So that is, I think, a blessing uh, <clears throat> for our country also and for our young people, uh, a very inspiring institution, I must say. And I've gained a lot from this um, institution, I must say that. So yes, AKU has been a blessing for me. It's, it's like a spaceship for me, you know, to taking me above in this space. And I can explore, I can go as far as I want and that's beautiful. So my message would be for uh, young faculty and that is in the form of a share. Udban kamar kya darta hai, phir dekh khuda kya karta hai.